the effect of an electric field. A charged ball in an electric field. The metal plate P is connected to the positive terminal of an extra high tension power supply. The metal plate Q is connected to the negative terminal of the extra high tension power supply. A ping pong ball coated with the conducting material is hung in the space between the two plates. The ball will remain stationary when the EHT is switched on if it is placed at the center of the plates P and Q. This is because the force of attraction exerted on the ball by plate P is equal to the force of attraction exerted on it by plate Q. If the ping pong ball is allowed to touch one of the plates, it will swing to and fro continuously between the two plates. The ball will become positively charged if it touches the positive plate P. Since light charges repel, the ball will be pushed towards plate Q. The ball will become negatively charged on touching the negative plate Q. Since light touching the negative plate Q. Since light charge repel, the ball will be pushed back towards plate P, thereby causing the ball to swing to and fro continuously between the two plates. A lighted candle is placed in between two metal plates P and Q. The heat of the candle flame removes electrons from the air molecules around it. Some of these electrons become attached to other molecules. As a result, the flame is surrounded by a large number of molecules that have either lost or gained electrons. When this happens, the air is said to be ionized and the charged molecules are called ions. When extra high tension power supply is switched on, the negative ions are attracted towards the positive plate P. At the same time, the positive ions are attracted to the negative plate Q. The movement of the ions toward plates P and Q caused the candle flame to spread. Note that a bigger portion of the flame is attracted towards the negative plate as the mass of the positive ions is larger than that of the negative ions. Thank you for taking time to watch this.